The trial balance shows a debtor's control of 530,000 and a provision for bed debts of 22,000 as at 28 February 2024. Provision for bed debts must be adjusted to 5% of trade debtors. Provide for provision for bed debt adjustment in the Statement of Comprehensive Income on 28 February 2024. Before we answer the question, this lesson will cover provision for bed debts, provision for bed debt adjustment, the difference between provision for bed debts being an income and it being an expense, and also what it means when we say provide for bed debts adjusting to and adjusting by. There's a big difference between provision for bed debts and provision for bed debts adjustment. As you can see, provision for bed debts is recorded in the statement of financial position, whereas provision for bed debts adjustment goes in the statement of comprehensive income. Provision for bed debts adjustment can either be recorded as income or as expenses. We only record it as income if we have to decrease the amount of provision for bed debts. And we only record it as an expense if we have to increase the amount of provision for bed debts. So whenever provision for bed debts has to be adjusted, we will now have a new line item that is called provision for bed debts. And this provision for bed debts will go in other operating incomes if provision for bed debts must be decreased and it will go in other operating expenses if provision for bed debts must be decreased. In our question, the trial balance shows us a provision for bed debts with an amount of 22,000 rands and it says that that amount needs to be adjusted to 5%. Now, we have two different types of the information that we get about provision for bed debts. We are either adjusting it to or we are adjusting it by. When we are adjusting it to, it means that we need for provision for bed debts to be 5% of our trade debtors. So our trade debtors, they have told us that it's 530,000 rands. So we need our provision for bed debts to be 5% of this amount which obviously says to you that the provision for bed debts that we have in our trial balance is not exactly the 5% of this amount. Hence, we have to do an adjustment and come up with that line item that is called provision for bed debts adjustment. We are adjusting this amount to be 5% of whatever this calculation is going to give us. So the first thing that you need to do is to calculate what is 5% of 530,000. So we will then calculate our provision for bed debts. Provision for bed debts, we are talking about the one that goes into the statement of financial position. We are not yet calculating provision for bed debts adjustment. What we are doing here, we are trying to find out what is exactly our provision for bed debts supposed to be. They said it must be adjusted to 5% of 530. This will give us the amount, that the correct amount that should have been in the trial balance because from this from this information we can safely assume that this amount is wrong so now here we are trying to correct the amount that was supposed to have been there so you will say 530 multiplied by 5 percent or 5 over 100 and it will give you 26,500 this is what our provision for bed debts was supposed to be so now what is our provision for bed debts adjustment our provision for bed debts adjustment it is the amount that will take this 22,000 into being 26,500 so therefore provision for bed debts is equal to 26,000 which is what provision for bed debts was supposed to be minus 22 thousand and that gives me four thousand five hundred this is the adjustment in which will take us from twenty two thousand to twenty six thousand five hundred now you will notice that to move from twenty two thousand to twenty six it means that i am increasing so that means that this amount is amount that i will need to increase with and when we are increasing then the provision for bed debts becomes an expense so it will be recorded in my operating expenses 
The trial balance shows the debtor's control of 260,000 and a provision for bad debts of 500 rands. Provision for bad debts must be increased by 5% of trade debtors. Provide for provision for bad debts adjustment in the Statement of Comprehensive Income on 28 February 2024. Now you will notice that this question is different in that it tells you first of all that you are increasing so which means now I don't have to do a calculation before I know that if this is an income or if this is an expense because I am increasing I already know that I am dealing with an expense so it's going straight to operating expenses and then instead of saying to five percent this time we have a buy five percent five percent so it means that whatever amount we get we are going to take that whole amount and add it to the amount that we already have in our trial balance in this case it is 500 rands so whatever the amount that we get from calculating this five percent we are going to take that whole amount and add it to the 500 rands so it means that in this type of question that has a buy, whatever we are calculating, that is our adjustment. We don't have to calculate provision for bad debts first and then use that to get provision for bad debts adjustment. We straight away just calculate provision for bad debts. So our provision for bad debts adjustment will be 260,000 multiplied by 5 over 100 and that will give you 13,000 rands. This amount as a whole is a provision for bad debt adjustment. We already know that we, are, we were increasing, so it's going to an expense. If you were dealing with a statement of financial position, that is when now you will have to calculate your new provision for bad debts. And your provision for bad debts will be the 500 that is in the trial balance plus the amount of our adjustment which is the full 13,000 and you will have 13,500 as your provision for bad debts that is going to the statement of financial position. However, in the statement of comprehensive income, you only record what you adjusted with and in this case we adjusted by 13,000.